scorpions are out early in Arizona. Living in the desert has many advantages such as the dry climate, the warm weather and the ability to schedule outdoor activities for any time of the year, but the desert is also a place where dangerous critters live, and one of the more dangerous bugs in the Phoenix area is the Arizona bark scorpion. Contrary to popular belief, the developed areas of Arizona are not teeming with bark scorpions ready to lash out at humans. But there are facts people should be aware of that will help them to avoid bark scorpions, or react properly when they are stung. Why are scorpions more active this year? The exterminator Phoenix AZ people rely on to handle the scorpion problem has been busy this year for two reasons. There has been a great deal of development around the Phoenix area, and bark scorpions tend to migrate into residential areas when their habitats have been disturbed. The other reason for an increase in scorpion activity is the warm January followed up by the damp February. Bark scorpions are more active in warm and humid weather, and the short winter has them out in force this year. Some information about the Arizona bark scorpion. Bark scorpion. While the Arizona bark scorpion is one of the more dangerous bugs in the Phoenix area, it is also one of the smallest. Adult bark scorpions grow to be between 1 and 1 half inches to 2 inches in length. They are a light brown color, which allows them to hide easily in the desert sand. They feed at night, and they are extremely aggressive hunters. They generally eat spiders and smaller bugs, but they will sting a human if they are provoked. Bark scorpions generally hide in dark and damp areas, which make them difficult to see. Most people get stung when reaching for something such as the covers for their bed when they are settling down for the night, or when they try to put their shoes on in the morning. Bark scorpions tend to travel in packs, so your infestation may consist of more than the scorpion that stung you. The venom from a bark scorpion creates pain and discomfort in a healthy adult but it could be much more harmful to small children or the elderly. Some of the common results of bark scorpion stings in babies and the elderly include breathing issues, frothing at the mouth and swelling at the sight of the sting. What to do if you are stung by a bark scorpion? The scorpion control Phoenix residents need when they are stung by a bark scorpion can be found at any local hospital. If the victim is very young or very old, then get them to the closest hospital as soon as possible. Healthy adults should clean the area of the sting with soap and water, and then apply a cold compress to the affected area on and off for 10 minutes at a time. If you are stung on the arm or leg, then be sure to put the appendage in a comfortable and raised position. You can use over-the-counter medication to treat any effects of the sting such as pain or swelling. Once you have stabilized the victim, then call a local hospital to see if the doctor or nurse on call thinks that the victim should be taken to the hospital for emergency care. Protecting your home or business from bark scorpions The first thing anyone should do when faced with a bark scorpion infestation is to call on a professional organization such as Sexton Pest Control. Bark scorpions are not affected by the same chemicals that will help to remove other pests. An exterminating expert will be able to not only determine the source of the infestation, but give you the tools you need to take care of the problem. Protecting your home or business from scorpions is a matter of taking away any of their points of entry. Examine the cock and frames around your windows and doors, and fill in any areas that are open. Be sure to put screens on your windows if you intend to open them during the day or night and avoid putting pet doors in your exterior doors. Those pet doors will let Fido come in for the night, but they will also allow easy access for scorpions. Protecting you and your family from bark scorpions. Bark scorpions tend to be attracted to homes with water, shelter and food. You can bring in an exterminator to get rid of any spider or bug infestations you may have that would attract scorpions. And you should also have all of your pipes examined for leaks. If you have a leaky roof, 
then get it fixed immediately. Before you go to bed at night, check the covers for scorpions. If you reach in to pull back your covers without looking, then you could be stung. Before you put your shoes on in the morning, always check them for scorpions. You need to get your children into the habit of checking for scorpions, and you should take extra precautions when putting the baby to bed at night. Bark scorpions cannot climb on glass, so putting the legs of your baby's crib in glass bottles will help prevent scorpions from getting into the blankets. You should also get a scorpion bed shield to hang over all of the beds in your home to catch scorpions that might fall from the ceiling. It is important to note that bark scorpions do not aggressively seek out humans to attack them. In most cases, bark scorpions have had their desert homes disrupted by man's development and the easiest place for the scorpions to go is into a home. If you are vigilant, you can significantly reduce the possibility of a scorpion attack in your home. With scorpions out early in Phoenix this year, being on guard is the best defense residents have from this dangerous pest.